Welcome to the Philosopher's Gaming News! Let's talk about the Microsoft U-Turn. Good news everyone, Microsoft revised big parts of the Xbox One concept. This means no online DRM, no region lock and support of used games. They actually listen to the complaints and yes, our voices have been heard. This is a very good thing and I guess a unique thing because I can't remember that a console developer or publisher was announcing their console and then people complained about it and then they changed the whole concept. I guess this never happened before. This is a really unique thing. The interesting question here I want to ask is why did they change the concept? Was it really because people just complained? In my opinion, big companies don't care if people complain in some way, as long as they can get sued for it or as long as the people still buy their products. And exactly here was a problem for Microsoft. The Xbox One was behind in pre-order sales and pretty much behind. They know the sales, they know the bad press and they know people are not buying their product. So they said this concept doesn't work for us, we have to change it. And exactly that is what they did. It was a totally economic decision. And for us it is good. But still there's a bad thing about it because they didn't learn out of it. You can argue if used games are a good thing or a bad thing. But still, online DRM in my opinion is a very it's not a good thing, it's a bad thing. Also the region lock is not a good thing. Yeah, it is not a good idea to spy on your customers and it is not a good idea to suspect your customers as potential criminals. It is also not a good idea to don't give them control over a physical copy they bought for like sixty dollars. Yeah, just allow give them the license and say hey you can play maybe under special circumstances and do a thing with this game. We allow it to you, it's not like you have anything to say or it's your property, no. We just have the license. They don't learn. This are all things Microsoft did not learn. Microsoft is still saying this concept is just delayed. Yes, people are not ready for it now. That is the idea of Microsoft about the whole situation. It's not like they learned anything. They now understand how bad this idea was and why that people yeah, people don't like it because they are not ready for it. Not like people don't like it because this was a totally stupid idea. No, that is not the case. And this is to some degree sad because now we have still to be careful if this concept will return. Then again, we have to say no to it because maybe um, no used games is a thing we will get someday, I guess. And it works on Steam, but Steam also has good and very cheap uh, offers here and there. And that's totally fine. I don't get my uh, used games for cheap, but I get the game new for cheap and as digital content. That's totally fine, I guess. What not is the thing that's not good is that I pay still $60 for the game and I don't know, don't get the game cheap and get good sales here and there, even for digital content, not for a physical copy. And that's a thing that's not working for me. And I guess for also the most people is not working. I said in my last video, what is the point in pissing so many people off if you don't get any advantage out of it? And yes, it seems like they don't want to get any advantage out of it. Many people or the press speculated that Microsoft was planning on Steam-like sales for their digital content. What would be really awesome if you imagine a game uh, $60 as physical and uh, digital copy on PlayStation 4 and just, I don't know, $30 uh, on Xbox One. And that would be a really awesome thing. And I asked the question if they plan this, why? Are they not talking about it? Why are they winding around if they get asked or just avoid the question? And that is, in my opinion, 
that was a sign that they don't plan it and now they changed the concept they don't they didn't stick to it so it seems like they were just they were really planning to piss all those people off and sell still sell the games for sixty dollars which is in my opinion totally ridiculous and i'm very happy that they changed it and now we can have a console war now we can have competition and now we can have yeah good games innovation here and there and this is a really good thing so this is my opinion on the u-turn of microsoft and i could talk a lot <laughs> about the Xbox One and things I don't like on it and things I like, for example, the Kinect thing I don't like, the good exclusive gaming lineup of the Xbox One is a thing I like and yeah, we have to see how this all will develop. Maybe Sony has still a little edge over Microsoft but now after they change the thing they are really close and people have to decide what they want. and. This is a very good thing for us, but still, we have to be careful and watch out if this total stupid ideas of online DRM and region logs and whatsoever and the control over the uh, customers um, is still in the heads of the big companies, especially uh, in Microsoft's head. And we have to be careful that it won't come in the future because, in my opinion, we just don't need it. Like I said, support. Uh, Used games are a thing that probably will come one day, but uh, not yet. And online DRM is a thing we just don't need. Maybe in 100 years there will be only online DRM and everyone can be online with uh, no problems and the servers will be always on and there's no problem at all. Then maybe it will work, but for now it just won't work. We are not there yet and I think we have to still watch out what the big companies are planning. Don't trust the big companies, I say. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little late <laughs> news video here. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you like it, please press a like button. If you have anything to say, please post it in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. See you guys.